Hello everyone. Today we are going to conduct the Norton's theorem experiment. In the Norton's theorem experiment, so this is the given circuit. Okay, in the given circuit, first we need to find out the IL. Okay, to find out the IL load current, this is the circuit diagram. In this, there are three resistors and there is a load resistance. This ammeter is used to find the current passing through this load resistance and it is a supply. Supply we will give by using the RPS. Okay, now let's connect the given circuit. So which is having the, there are three resistors. First we will connect the resistors here. 1.8 kilo ohm resistor first. This is the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. Now I am connecting the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, this is the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor I connected. Here this 1.5 kilo ohm second terminal and this 1.5, one more 1.5 kilo ohm first terminal both are connected. Now I am taking one more 1.8 kilo ohm resistor here. Okay, I am connecting, these both are connected, that's why I am connecting, which should connect vertically. And this 1.5, 1.8 kilo ohm, second terminal is connected to ground. Okay, in the circuit, again one more 1.8 kilo ohm, first terminal is connected to this junction point. Okay, now I am taking one more 1.8 kilo ohm resistor, I am connecting vertically because this terminal is connected. Okay, these three resistors are connected, this junction point. Okay, this is a junction point, this is also we are connected in the junction point here. Now, this RPS positive is connected to 1.8 kilo ohm first terminal. This is the RPS positive, this RPS positive, this RPS positive is connected to 1.8 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay, next RPS negative, RPS negative is connected to ground. RPS negative is connected to ground. Okay, this side terminal is connected. Next, ammeter positive is connected to 1.8 kilo ohm second terminal. This is ammeter positive. This ammeter positive is connected to 1.8 kilo ohm second terminal. Okay, as the both are connected, we should connect vertically. Okay, next, this ammeter negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm resistor first terminal. So I am taking 1 kilo ohm resistor. So this 1 kilo ohm resistor connect randomly here and connect this 1 kilo ohm to the ground. Okay, connect these ground terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in these 5 terminals or in these 5 terminals. The two upside or downside don't make these two, uh, these 5 and this 5. Okay, I am connecting this 1 kilo ohm second terminal to the ground. As the second terminal is connected to ground, I am connecting to the ground. And next, this ammeter negative is connected to this 1 kilo ohm first terminal. I am connecting this ammeter negative. Ammeter negative, I am connecting to the 1 kilo ohm first terminal. Okay. Now, uh, this is the total circuit connection of the Norton's theorem to find out IL. Now, increase the supply voltage and we will see the current passing through the low resistance. Now, I am taking the the supply voltage to the 10 volts okay i am taking supply voltage is 10 volts at the supply voltage is 10 volts load current we are getting 1.32 milliamps now sorry 15 volts not 10 volts it is 15 volts okay i am taking 15 volts here Okay, at 15 volts, we are getting almost it is 1.98 milliamps of the current we are getting. Now, if I increase the supply voltage from 15 to 20 volts, 15 to 20 volts, we will get 2.65 milliamps of the current we are getting, load current. And again, if I increase the supply voltage from 20 to 25 volts, increase the supply voltage from 20 to 25 volts so we are getting 3.31 milliamps of the current we are getting so these are the values for the load current okay il load current il for the 15 volts 20 volts 25 volts now the next step is to find out the il this is a circuit to find out il norton's current the procedure to find norton's current is 
remove the load resistance remove the load resistance and place the a meter across these two terminals okay remove the load resistance and the current find the current passing through this uh, oh, uh, this uh, this terminal okay now i am removing the load resistance here i am keep and keep the this rps in the minimum position okay keep the rps in the minimum position and remove the load resistance in the circuit there is no load resistance that's why i am removing the load resistance and a meter negative is connected to ground i am taking a meter negative to the ground just remove the load resistance and connect the a meter positive to the 1.8 kilo first terminal and a meter negative to the ground and this this is a procedure to find out the norton's current in because the second step is to find the in norton's current okay so here also find out in for the 15 volts okay here it is 15 volts for 15 volts we are getting 2.7 milliamps okay for 20 volts again increase the voltage from 15 to 20 volts okay at 20 volts we are getting 3.62 milliamps of the current we are getting this is a Norton's current now increase the voltage from supply voltage from 20 to 25 volts at exactly 25 volts we are getting 4.53 milliamps of the current we are getting this is the procedure to find out the Norton's current next step is to find out the Norton's resistance the in Norton's resistance we will make zero of the supply voltage that is a short circuit the supply voltage and the open circuit the load resistance okay in the if you see the circuit here we will not apply any voltage here just remove all the resistors uh, all the connections here just this 1.8 kilo ohm this 1.8 kilo ohm 1.8 kilo ohm are connected in the t-shaped connection next year 1.8 kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground as is 1.8 kilo ohm first terminal is connected to ground i am taking one wire i am making this terminal to the ground okay this is the procedure to find out the Norton's resistance to find out the Norton's resistance I am using the multimeter this is called as a multimeter this multimeter is used to find out the voltage current and the AC voltage AC voltage DC current and DC volt DC uh, AC current okay this is the uh, position I am keeping in the resistance mode I am keeping in the 20 kilo ohm resistance okay and I am measuring the resistance across these two terminals okay across these two terminals find out the load resistance here okay we are getting 2.67 kilo ohms of the resistance we are getting okay it is approximately equal to 2.7 okay that is take the uh, multimeter and place across these two terminals here okay it is approximately equal to 2.7 kilo ohm that's why we will take 2.7 rn is equal to 2.7 kilo ohms now the next procedure is to find out the IL dash. The last step is to find out the IL dash. This is a circuit to find out the IL dash. So first we will take the Norton's resistance here. Norton's resistance is 2.7 kilo ohm. That's why this Norton's resistance is 2.7 kilo ohm resistor. This is a 2.7 kilo ohm resistor. I am connecting this 2.7 kilo ohm resistance to the ground. Okay, next RPS positive is connected to ammeter positive this is the ammeter 1 and this is the ammeter 2 ok I am connecting this RPS positive to the ammeter positive hmm? this RPS positive to the uh, ok I am connecting RPS uh, RPS positive here and RPS positive and the ammeter positive both are connected that's why we will connect the circuit like this okay this rps positive ammeter positive both are connected next step is ammeter negative is connected to this norton's resistance first terminal ammeter negative is connected to norton's resistance first terminal okay the next step is this again this we are having the load resistance here this low resistance is connected to ground i am taking the load resistance one kilo ohm as it is the low resistance connect randomly Okay, this load resistance is connected to the ground terminal. 
okay i am connecting this load resistance to the ground and this one more ammeter second ammeter positive is connected to this junction point second ammeter positive is connected to this point junction point as both are connected we should connect vertically okay here next this ammeter negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal this 1 kilo ohm first terminal i am connecting here ammeter negative is connected to 1 kilo ohm first terminal okay so this is the total circuit connection to find out the il dash here this ammeter this first ammeter is used to find out the used to see the values of the norton's current value and this load resist load current il dash the current passing through this load resistance we will measure by using this ammeter okay so we have the norton's values we we, we got the three norton's values here norton's current values are 2.8 milliamps 3.70 milliamps 4.7 milliamps these are the norton's current values three values we got in the second step okay now increase the rps increase the rps okay up to we will get first value is 2.8 hmm? okay this rps negative we missed rps negative is connected to ground here okay rps negative is connected to ground now first norton's current value we got 2.8 milliamps okay first norton's value is 2.8 milliamps okay we will increase the rps up to we will get 2.8 milliamps in the this ammeter okay in, so here we are increasing the rps up to we will get first norton's value that is 2.8 milliamps of current we are getting in the multi um, this ammeter so at exactly 2.8 milliamps of the ammeter load resistance value uh, this uh, norton's resistance norton's current value the load current we are getting 2.1 milliamps okay now if we increase the rps value up to we will get second norton's value is 3.70 value so up to 3.70 we have to increase the rps second norton's value is 3.70 up to we will get 3.70 value we have to increase the rps at exactly 2.70 milliamps of the norton's current value this load current we are getting 2.7 milliamps the last step is the third norton's value is 4.7 milliamps okay up to we will get 4.7 milliamps okay we have to vary the rps here we are getting 4.7 milliamps of the norton's current value so at 4.7 milliamps of the norton's current value the load current we are getting 3.4 milliamps of the load risk load current value we are getting okay this ammeter is used to see the norton's current value and this ammeter is used to see the load current value okay so this is the procedure to find out the all the uh, load current and the load current first we calculated load current and the norton's current and the norton's resistance so up to now these are the values we got so we calculated il and we calculated in and we calculated il dash and we calculated rn also rn norton's resistance we got 2.7 kilo ohms okay rn value we got 2.7 kilo ohms at 15 volts 20 volts and 25 volts we got il value is 2 2.7 3.37 milliamps and in value we got 2.8 3.70 and 4.7 milliamps we got for the 15 20 25 volts for this in values 2.8 2.70 4.7 4.7 uh, milliamps of the in values we got il dash values are 2 2.7 and 3.37 milliamps in the table if we observe here il is equal to il dash the 2 2 2.7 2.7 3.37 and 3.37 so from the uh, values we can say that il is equal to il dash hence the norton's theorem is verified in the in the norton's theorem what we have to observe whether il is equal to il dash or not here il is equal to il dash that's why we can say that norton's theorem is verified for 15 volts 20 volts and 25 volts